Welcome to the channel, I do agree. Today's video is kindly sponsored by HydraulicPlanet.com. Hydraulic Planet is an Irish based company and I approached them uh, a while back when I had the case to do this video and they kindly um, and they kindly agreed. So a massive thanks to Eve over there and the rest of the team of course. But they are an online retailer for hydraulic, high quality hydraulic components and they do have very competitive prices. And as well as that, they have a very easy to use website, which is always good. You can see all the parts there. I have a few links down in the description for the parts used today. So to get back to the premise of the video, I'm gonna show you how to test the hydraulics in your tractor, whether it be um, diagnosing a pump issue, or if you want to test the individual spools, you'll be able to see the exact uh, pressure that's reading off the um, hydraulics there. It won't give you the full scope of hydraulic issue. You also need to know the flow rate. Um, so actually I would like to make or source some sort of flow rate um, test unit as well in the future. You kind of need both, but it is, um, but this is a great indication for, for it as well. So definitely a good thing to have in the garage and as well as that, I, if I was going to buy any new tractors, which I definitely won't be anytime soon, I would bring this with me just to test the hydraulics and give you a bit of peace of mind that way. So it's basically just the pressure gauge and a bit of your standard hydraulic hose, a few adapters, and it goes on to a male coupling there. And you don't even need the hose. I see some people, mechanics and that, they just have the pressure gauge on the coupler and no hose in between but I had the two meter hose to reach up into the cab and I'd be able to see it in the cab while I'm operating the spool. So links down below for the few parts. So once again just a massive thank you to them and I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm actually a year late with this video. These things tend to happen but um, the reason I was getting it and ordered it all was because the case 4230 back in the day was giving me all sorts of hydraulic issues and um, I was wondering if it was the pump and I did end up ordering a pump at one stage and then I did send it back after I sold the tractor but Optimus Prime one of the viewers and commenters suggested that I put a bit of a pressure tester together so it's just a bit of Hydraulic hose, um, I think that's half inch or quarter inch, oh no, yeah, quarter inch there, sorry. Um, then you have a couple of adapters here. So there's not much involved here. There's uh, your quick coupler, you have your female and your male. Two adapters there to adapt it to the quarter inch hose here. I got two meters of hose just because um, I'm likely to plug it in. Here and the services at the back where I'd be testing it and I'd be operating it from inside the cab so I'd hopefully be able to hold it up or position it in such a way that I can see the pressure reading on this um, glycerin filled pressure gauge. So that is the end. So that is what we're testing. We're testing the pressure in the hydraulic line um, and it should be about two and a half thousand, about 2000 PSI if I remember correctly. So that's pretty much the goal. So I'll put that together very quickly and I will first test the John Deere here because it's a lot more predictable. The hydraulics on it are 100%. So I'm not very worried. I imagine it'll be about two and a half thousand PSI. And then we will test the Massey. So the Massey, other than the rear lift, of course, um, don't touch the hydraulics. We never, we never had any attachment to use it for. Um, I had no clue about any hydraulics. You know, I um, actually didn't even know there was these two pipes and the return here until the other day. I was looking um, because I will need a service there for something we're looking at buying but uh, yeah the only time I would have used this and it working was on that 14 ton 
NC dump trailer when the case wouldn't dump it I had to hook this up very quickly and dump the 10 ton of gravel that I went and got in town with it um, so that was another dodgy day but we got through it and it did the job but very very slowly so yeah I'm going to test this these these quick connects are very old as well so they should be replaced um, in the near future just to make it easier to connect in than if it does work but yeah the hydraulic oil and the hydraulic filter has never been cleaned or replaced in um, in the last 20 years as far as I know well it might have been might have been by um, our family friend that used to used to work on it but I don't think it would have ever been replaced always topped up but I don't think it's been replaced hydraulic filter probably dirty as anything so I'm going to have a full um, full go at the Massey here we are going to do a service hasn't gotten a oil and diesel filter replacement in two years now and it's done an awful lot of work so should have done that last year I have the filters from last year just never ended up doing never ended up doing it we got more mileage out of them now but really has to be done so if you do that um, hydraulic oil and filter as I said check the pipes get everything working that way and I want to attempt adjusting the it's in the valve uh, clearance that apparently is what is causing the kind of off sounding engine noise so a uh, few little bits like that cheap free and easy hopefully nothing goes wrong and it'll um, put a lot more time and a lot more value back into this tractor and keep it going for us for another another season anyway so what I have here is the female end of the pipe directly onto the pressure gauge here I'm going to put a bit of teflon tape on that just to be sure so for the coupler end you have your coupler and a couple of adapters um, takes it from half inch down to quarter inch female so there's probably a cleaner way of doing this but just with the parts I had I got this um, this center segment additionally so those few bits and they attach on to the male end of of this pipe here if I actually had both ends of this female I could have used this adapter here put that right on with the two seals and into the quick coupler and none of this so that is what the kit should be like or oh should we go to go with that Now we have that all made up there now so it should work no problem uh, i'm going to test the john deere first as i said so just a matter of plugging it into services at the back um but it'll you'll have to do it four times so we will plug it in and test the pressure on each of those make sure they're all the same even but i'm pretty sure there'll be no issues with this one anyway
just a matter of doing testing the same valve in the opposite direction. So that is exactly 2700 psi as well. So that is uh, right on the money. Now we will try this one. And 2600 right in the same range. The final test here, 2600 equally on that spool which is good to see and 2700 on the first pull so so that's a good test everything over 2500 psi did better than i expected go and we'll try and test it on the massey here with these two plugs um and the diverter switch inside the cab that's so, on right away on, on the spool there which is fantastic to see so that is actually um, quite quite good to see that the pressure comes right into the line and it's over 2000 psi and the lever has great control there so yeah, that's fantastic. I'm going to swap the pipe in the back there and so we'll swap these around. Definitely need to change these couplings. But I'll get those from the hydraulic planet, of course. Up. I'll turn it on. Pipe. So some of you viewing might be able to give me a better answer, but there's three pipes back here, and I would assume this one is a return, this solid steel one. This one has the pressure. This one coming off the side there. I'm not really sure, but there's no pressure out of it anyway when you do that. So we'll very handy thing this. Which? This yoke, this test kit. It's a test kit? That's a test pressure gauge thing. Oh. Hold that open. Okay. Oh, that's good. What is that oil? You didn't get it on you. It's all good. It's one dot, you're all good. You don't want to know what kind of oil it is. Definitely have pressure there. It's um, just over 2,000 psi, so after we replace the hydraulic oil and clean the filter, I assume that'll shoot right up a bit, so uh, good to test it beforehand. 
and yeah, I'll be doing that hydraulic and oil and all the service in the next few days. So good to get that done now, but not a bother with uh, the John Deere here. So and that gives us some confidence to put a front loader on it in the future too. So good test overall. The pressure test unit worked exactly as I expected. Two meters. It's pretty good as well. You can see it was pretty good size for reaching into the back of the cab there. So meter would be a bit short. So two meters pipe pressure gauge, and you could even get half inch pipe, and it'd probably be less fittings for attaching it to the couplings there. So um, easy enough for any of you to make something like this up.